Welcome back guys to another video. Today I want to discuss with you guys about you know just my video making and all this stuff. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous videos you know that I was lacking back a little bit of light or maybe I had certain issues with my ISO filtration because you know many of my videos would miss a certain amount of clarity or maybe half of the frame was good the other half was bad. So in order to find a solution for this one I need to have a proper light setup across my room and this would provide me with a better clarity however the light setup and all the equipment would easily cost you around from 4000 rupees to sometimes even 15,000 or 20,000 rupees. So you know I went and started researching on the net if there was any other alternative for light sources and of course on a far lower budget possible. So you know when I was going across certain videos in YouTube I came across you know videos where they made light stands and the light softbox themselves and that's why you know I thought I wanted to try it myself I did a light box for myself and you guys won't believe the clarity is as good as any 10,000 rupees light box you can have and for me it barely cost any money because you know it's very cheap I'll be showing you in this video and you know if you are a filmmaker or you are those guys who make short films or even if you are an artist performing on stages or anywhere these lights come in really handy they are good quality and of course at very very low budget I really thought why don't I make a tutorial video myself on how to create this softbox so guys make sure you watch till the end believe me this might come in very handy for you guys later on so in order to make the softbox you'll be requiring a piece of cardboard some glue in Insulation tape, cellophane tape, aluminium foil, a light bulb holder and some wiring cables and other simple cutting tools. So the first process involves on drawing this shape on four different cardboard pieces and then cutting them out. So as you guys can see I have cut these cardboards into four different parts, four equal parts as for the dimensions. Now for the decorative purpose we will be applying the color paper on the top of them. I have already covered it with brown sheet on the one side, you know, just to give it a good look. Now what we are going to do is we are going to put the aluminium foil on the other side around so that it covers it. Make sure you do the same process for all the four of them. I have already applied the aluminium foil on the other side of the cardboard. Now what we are going to do is, we are just going to take the insulation tape and apply it on all across the board. As you see the board is quite thick and it may fall off or tear apart. So in order to keep the whole thing intact we need to apply the insulation tape right across here. Let's do that. It's completely duct taped on both the sides on the front and the back. Now you should also take into consideration that the cardboard you are choosing is of light weight so that you know after addition of all the aluminium foil and the tape and the paper it doesn't weigh so you know heavy. Now it's the part we will make this uh, just a, another cardboard which can hold the light enough. For this what we will be doing is taking a square shaped cardboard of length 18 centimeters, and then cut them and paste them with aluminium foil and brown paper like we did before. I have made the square card just with uh, the similar way I have done the others. Silver on one side and the paper on the other side, duct taped on four sides. Now what we are going to do is, this is going to be the light holder. So we have got to make a small hole over here just so that we can fit in this holder here. So right in the center I have done making the hole, the cutter I just took the shape and then I have cut it. Now you just need to send the wires right to the back of the hole. The, the, remember the bulb side faces into the silver and just fix it right on spot. As you can see the bulb is fixed perfectly in the cardboard. Now it acts as a strong holder for this. Now all that is left is to join all these parts. Once that's done, you'll almost have a complete vision of the just the soft box. And here's how it does them. Just uh, take this 24 centimeter marking we had, we have converted it into a flip so that it's flexible inside to the foil and just keep it right on the edge of the other one. So that right here we can attach them and similarly the uh, format follows for all the four. Here's how. Fix this box, you should cover this thing and we're gonna tape this. After some work and effort, we have finally made the soft box. It's kind of you know 
it kind of looks pretty good okay in shape so now it's time to make the tripod stand for this light box which can hold this and for this i would like you guys to go and check out nick brittle who was the person who came up with this idea he has also uploaded in his own channel the same way on making the tripod stand using pvc pipes and also his style of making uh, making the soft box so make sure you guys check out his channel and now first to go back into the connections as you guys see we have already connected the joint now i'm going to do is use a t-shaped pvc pipe send this uh, right to the pvc pipe it comes out the hole and just you gotta make sure that you pull it out this way and then duct tape it and the joint so that we can make a firm joint here itself this is the tripod I generally use for my videos. This is the one I mount here. But for the one, uh, one we are going to do for the light, as you can see, I have uh, two 50 mm pipes over here, six 25 mm pipes over here, three elbows, two uh, T's, and one connector. So now just follow the same procedure I am in, uh, doing in order to connect them all together and form a tripod. And now for the final part, I'm gonna connect this into this edge and just yeah, push it into it. Now as you guys can see, I got a firm grip and balance. how I generally record my videos. The only light I'm having right now is coming from above. So if I include that during daytime, I might get sunlight from that side. However, there's no light here. Now I have applied this soft box. Let's see how it works when the light is switched on. So as you guys can see now, this is the difference with the softbox light on and the above plug light on. So now you guys can see the clarity is improved much more and all you have to spend was barely 150 or 200 rupees. Now let's see how the clarity is when I switch off the above light completely. Oh. So this is the clarity when I completely switch off. As you can see, you see my face is quite clear, everything over here is clear. If I might increase the stand a little bit more, it might look even better at my face. So it's perfect for you know a very cheap budget movie or short film or anything you're constructing. So thanks for watching this video guys. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And uh, a channel link is uh, in the description. So guys, go and check out our YouTube channel too. And that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching.